Drawings are used to document your 3D models in the traditional 2D format, including displaying dimensions and other instructions useful for manufacturing purposes. In Inventor, creating drawings is secondary to creating 3D models of parts or assemblies. What I mean is that you first create models in 3D and then use the 3D data to generate the drawing. Even after the drawing is created, there is a direct association between the 3D model and the drawing. When changes are made to the model, each and every view in the drawing will reflect the change. This relationship between 3D model and 2D drawing makes the drawing process fast and accurate. Drawings are one of three main file types you can create in Inventor. To begin a new drawing, you can use the New drop-down menu or use the blank page icon. This dialog box offers you a choice of templates. Inventor drawing templates are the ones with the .idw file extension. There are a few default drawing templates to choose from, including English and metric. You should be aware that templates that use the ANSI standard will use third angle projection in the drawings, whereas ISO or DIN will use first angle projection. This is the drawing interface. It is laid out similar to the part and assembly interfaces with a work area, a browser, and slightly different tabs on the ribbon that includes tools appropriate for 2D drawings, such as placing views and annotations. The browser is also arranged a bit differently. Since we're no longer working in 3D, you won't see reference planes or an origin listed. Instead, you see the basic requirements for 2D drawing, a sheet of paper listed as sheet one, and drawing resources with things like sheet formats, borders, title blocks, and symbols. We'll take a look at these items along with the various commands on the toolbars throughout this section of the course. But before we do, here's a short disclaimer. The specifications for drawings vary immensely from company to company and individual to individual. For the remainder of this section, I won't be teaching you how to create one specific standard of drawing. Rather, I'll teach you the tools and techniques required to create and detail drawings in general. This will allow you to produce your style of drawing no matter how unique.